What is good, Neo family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only Neo stock and what you should be looking after for the future. I'm also going to talk about why Neo did take a bit of a hit today and why the entire market did and what's going on right now because Tesla does have their earnings report. And I do believe Tesla can be the key for us seeing a green day for tomorrow. I think Tesla is going to crush all expectations in the latest earnings report and i believe the entire market is going to rally because of that because tesla is a big 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 player in the game and i do believe this is going to be fantastic news i'm also going to talk about what's going on with neo's twitter page as they did mention some very important things that make me even more bullish for the future now before i talk about what my price prediction is and what you should be looking out for for neo i do have to mention some very important things first the first thing is I'm not a financial planner, so please don't take this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. Not only benefits me, but it's the entire new community as a whole. And the last thing is if you guys can, please check out the Mumu link down below in the description. If you sign up for Mumu with the link down below and deposit $100, you're going to get up to six free stocks, each worth up to $3,500. And you could always sell those six free stocks for cash and buy some NEO shares for free. This is a limited time offer that ends in two weeks. So please check it out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So looking at NEO. It's down 8.66% for the day. It took a massive hit, and so did the entire market essentially collectively. I mean, if you look at AMC, it's down 7%. We're seeing a lot of stocks like uh, NVIDIA. It's also down. Apple's also down kind of not too horribly, but we're seeing a lot of red going left and right. So for Neil in particular, what happened was the first thing we have to talk about is Netflix because Netflix lost about... I don't know, over $35 billion today alone in its valuation. That's crazy. And that's because of the fact that it's down over, I believe, like 35%. I mean, let me actually just pull it up real quick. And uh, you guys can see the reason it was down so hard is because for the first time in a decade, they actually reported a massive, massive loss. They actually lost over 200,000 subscribers. And as a result, Netflix ended up taking such a big hit. And it's actually a pretty massive company worth, I mean, billions and billions of dollars. It, we see the way this thing crashed in one day is just insane. And the market took a hit because of that. We saw the entire market collectively just red, red, red all over the place. And shorts, many market makers took advantage of this opportunity to short things like Neo to the floor, and that is what they did. Now, as this is happening, I don't see this as the end of the world for Neo. I think we're going to actually get a bounce going into tomorrow. I'm going to show you exactly why. So, one of the reasons is if stocks drop too hard in one day, typically it doesn't just happen, you know, day day in and day out left and right every single day there has to be that good relief bounce and i do think we're going to get it because tesla just reported that their revenue grow uh, it grew uh, 81 percent from last year we're also seeing this right over here the earnings per share was expected to be 2.26 and ended up being 3.22 or three dollars and 22 cents the revenue was supposed to be or expected to be 17 dollars uh, 17.8 billion sorry about that but it ended up being 18.76 billion so they crushed revenue they beat earnings per share they crushed everything in every way shape and form i mean for me personally i do think elon musk has been talking about the robo taxi so he may be announcing big things their profit is up 147 percent the production is up 69 percent i think the market may get a nice balance because of this because in the after hours we're starting to see neo see some green amc is also green so is the spy so is tesla i mean tesla's up pretty big it's up well above a thousand right now so I do think Neo is going to get a nice bounce going into tomorrow. I would not be surprised if this thing actually pushed that almost $19 range, got rejected, and ended up closing around that 18.75 to 18.6 range. So I am very bullish going into tomorrow. I also believe that there's some very key levels to be looking out for now because 18. Uh, 53 is actually going to be our next key level of resistance, which I think Neo could actually break past. $19 is going to be a little bit hard, so I, I do think we're going to get a bit of, of rejection right there, and we should end up closing, like I said before, 1870 to 1860. Now, another big thing to be talking about is the fact that there are those lockdowns in China. That isn't the reason why we dropped, because this has been going on for some time, but Neo, on the other hand, is still improving their production. They're actually back, and and they're gradually getting better and better and better despite the issues that they are facing now 
Another thing to talk about is this right here. The Neo battery swap process is completely free of drama as soon as the car reawakens and the green light illuminates within the station you're free to drive out start to finish the whole thing takes less than six minutes that is absolutely incredible news and on top of that i do believe that you will be automating these in the future imagine how awesome that's going to be for not just neo as a company but for other countries too as they get this technology it's going to be absolutely incredible so i can't wait for that i'm very very bullish for this company like i said before red days will come unexpectedly here and there but at the end of the day it does not matter that much now the last thing i want to talk about is this right here if we actually go back look at some technical indicators just real quick obviously everything is going to show this thing looking super super bearish but it's not normal for a stock to just drop that low in such a short period of time especially for neo so i do expect a bit of a bounce i could actually bring up many technical indicators we're trading below the 200 moving average which is an indicator that we're on a downward trend but i i just think that we have to find our support and get that bounce if 800 uh, if 18 dollars is not the support we bounce from then there's 1776 but i personally don't think we're going to drop that low i think at 18 we're going to start running and we should actually touch 19 and close well above that 1870 maybe 1860 dollar level so it's looking pretty all right so for tesla we still need to know what the confirmation is because elon musk is actually going to be there during the webcast so i'd like to see what he says i do believe he is going to mention uh, more and more news about the robo taxi and what tesla's plans are for the future so tesla can actually cause the entire market to actually rally as tesla is a trillion dollar company it could have a big effect believe it or not so that is something to be looking out for but anyways like i said before i am pretty bullish going into tomorrow i do think we're going to get that relief rally and i do think the market's going to be green so be on the lookout for that i really wish the best for every single person that's a part of neo and i also need to remind you we have this gap right here. I almost forgot to mention it. There's a big gap right here that's going to bring us back to $19.92. I do believe it's going to get filled sometime next week. So this is a very good opportunity to load up if you haven't already to know that this thing is most likely going to run. So get ready for that gap fill. It's most likely going to come next week. And once that comes, it's going to help Neo continue to, to show its steady growth as we are waiting for this company so long term i'm still super bullish don't worry too much about the short term if you're a long-term investor and also know this company offers a lot of really good trading opportunities with its very volatile price action with that out of the way i want to thank you all for listening please have a great rest of the day neo to the moon and peace out